Okay, so in today's video, a couple, of, like two weeks ago, I did a uh, video using this EG4 charge controller that is up to 5,000 watt, 500 volt PV input DC, and then 100 amp output. And we were using this, and right now we have the air conditioner on in there, and it's bringing in 7.7 .7 amps. And it's 215 volts, but it's only bringing in 342 watts. Right now, we are running that air conditioner, and even with the solar, we are discharging our battery at 2.4 amps. So that's not really going to work that well. And if we go in here and look... We'll see what kind of temperature we're blowing out on the uh, mini split. And let's oh, blow cold air. <laughs> so we have it set at 71. So, I don't know if you can see or not, but it's 42. So we have it set at 61. It's at 65.4, and it's actually running full blast on turbo, and it's only using 437.9 uh, watts and 118.8 volts, and it's 3.61 amps on that. So, there we go, we're 433 watts. So, that's running really well. I mean, it's probably 65 degrees outside right now. Um, but I just wanted to run this. Now, I wanted to show you, I'm using those 12 grape solar panels. And we're only using 436.4 watts right now. We're using a, a brand new extension cord I got. It's a 14 gauge so it'll go up to 15 amps on that. And it's a 50 foot. So it'll go up to 1875 watts. And that thing at max, I've only had it up to like 1160 watts. I, don't, I haven't seen it go after any higher than that. So we're only bringing in 344 watts, 7.7 .7 amps. And what is it? 214 volts um, that's not much because those are I want to say 22.3 volt panels at 12 of them that should be over 240 but the sun is low in the sky it is December like 12th so it's it's hundred percent charged right now but it's discharging at 3.6 3.7 let's go and change those solar panels over to four 400 watt used by facial model panels. And we'll see what we get when we switch that up. Now, I really don't like to run it with a load, but while I have the battery on there, we're pulling such low amps. I'm not gonna really worry about it too much. But you should not be running a load when you um, disconnect these solar. Here's the negative. And here's my positive. Okay. So we're going to come over. And so we were running these 12 100-watt grape solar panels. Now we're going to try four of these 400 watt by facials and if you look you can see my my fingers my skin through there so it's kind of you can see the sunlight going through there um these are used and i'm thinking about using these um on top of the motorhome or in an array that i could set up there we go so we got both of those, oh, no, 
I don't, I have the wrong one. Okay, so got that connected. There we go. So we have that connected. And now we're gonna go see what we get out of these four solar panels that are 400 watt by facial used. Now in the other one, we weren't being with 12 solar panels, 12 100 watt solar panels, we were only getting like 343 watts or something. So it wasn't that much, 7.7 .7 amps. And then on these four by facials, let's see what we get. So we are 588 watts. So we're going up higher. And we're right now we're at 6.3 amps. Oops, that went up 9.8 amps, 11.2 amps. So we were at 7.7 .7 before. And now we're at 588. It's kind of going back and forth. Let's see what we're doing over here. It's discharging at 1.6. Now it's down to discharging at 0 0.5, 0 0.2. Oh, it's charging now. It's actually charging. So we're running it. Now it's on standby. And we're charging at 0.4. Standby. So... I don't think we can really, we're up to 601 on there for the watt, 612, and 11.9 amps. It's actually starting to charge, well, it's charging 0 0.3, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, so it's actually starting to charge. So we're actually able 0.5, um, we're actually able to run the mini split off of those four solar panels and charge our battery up a little bit. Let's um, let's go see what we're using on our watt meter in here. So I was really hoping to use those. 12 100 watt grape solar panels, but I'll have to look for a different project on that. Okay, so right now we have this set at 61 degrees on the thermostat in here. It's actually saying at 63.8 right next to the remote. We are using 495 uh, watts and 118.7 volts D or AC, and we're using 4.15 amps. So that's not bad. So at 495 watts, now, putting out 42 degree air on that, so let's see, since this says it's at 63.8, 64 degrees, let's go up to 66, go two degrees above that, and we're already dro whoop, dropping down to where it's just barely keeping it running, and it's got the fan going. So usually it's around 20 when it's just running the fan by itself, it goes down to about 20 watts. So that means it's still running that uh, compressor a little bit, I think right now, but barely. So see if we, okay, the temperature went up to 53. Yeah, the temperature's going up. Okay, now it's down to 39, so the compressor's pretty much shut off. That means it's running on turbo, and um, the compressor's not running at all right now. Let's go see what we're bringing in. Um, while we have no load on there, except for 38.9 
watts. Let's see. Okay, we're at 11.2 amps, 139 volts, 140 volts on the, uh, oops, and 590 watts we're bringing in off of those 1600 watt solar panels. And on here, it's saying we're charging at 8.8 .8 amps out of the 11.2 coming in. So that's not bad. That's pretty much charging it up with 54.4 volts. It's almost charged up. Now, when we tried doing this last time, we ended up using the shore power in here. And what I realized was, I see on the shore power, this adapter plug plugs on this and like that. And then we just plug it into a regular outlet, 110, 110, 115, 120 volt outlet. So with that, when I was running that unit earlier, I was going up to 22 amps, so something, but when I was doing that, okay, so I'm using the shore power. I plugged that shore power into that Victron inverter, and I was using 22 amps, so I was actually going right here into this outlet that's on the shore power, and it was using quite a bit more power well it's actually ramping back up again there we go it's so it's it's ramping back up to kick on okay got to 65 degrees on there if you get 65 62 so it's cooling down so it's set at 66. It says it's 66.5 degrees in here. And we're running 302, 311. So we're ramping up on this. But from what I'm seeing, this is staying um, below 500. Let's see if it, 449. Let's see if we can stay below 500 or if it's going to go above it. 474, 471, 468. So yeah, it's it's hovering below 500. So that's not bad. So on that 479. So on that, that's not bad at all. We can run that. Um, now granted, it's only like 70 degrees out today. So it's not real hot. But if you look... This is flat, a flat line right here. And if you go up, we're probably at a 35 degree angle of the sun. So the angle is really shallow in the sky. It's like December 12th. And, you know, it's um, not doing that, not being able to hit the solar panels that well. So we got 5.6 amps coming in, 420 watts. So we're pretty much, I think that batteries should be pretty much charged. Yeah, we're charging at 1.9, 0.6. It's discharging, so charging. So it's kind of going back and forth. It's um, it's running that, and it's charging, and it's going back and forth on charging and discharging. So it's having no problem running that. We'll have to check it out in the summertime when we have but the summertime is going to be the sun will be directly overhead and what i've been getting out of those panels is right around 300 watts three 320 watts per panel on those use uh bifacial mono so if i were to have those mounted or on a um a solar rack like i have that ground mount i could take that and I could put four panels on there. I should be able to get the 1200 watts that it's probably gonna pull. It only pulls 1160 watts when it's hot outside when I tested it before. So, it's, and this is a 1200 
watt um, inverter. So it's it's kind of at the peak on that. But I'm I'm hoping to put one of these in here, which is much more efficient than that. Um, they're both pure sine wave, but I think the MPP um, T on this is much better than this one. It seems to be. I seem to get better um, output. I could actually, when I get, I'm ordering two more. When I get another one up on the wall, I could probably just move these, the solar back and forth and see what I'm getting on there. So right now it's pretty much the battery's charged. Uh, it's discharging right now. So it's fully charged. So it's actually discharging because the BMS is discharging it. Um, so we're fine. There we go. Now we're charging 1.6. It keeps going back and forth between charging and discharging. So I think I'm going to have to go with now it's going back up. So it's running at, we're at uh, 4.9 amps. So yeah, we're, we're running that mini split in there. That's a 9,000 BTU. I want to say it's a 16 or 17 sear mini split. And we're being able to run that on those four solar panels. So I just wanted to show you that. Please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. We'll see you in the next video. Hope you have a truly wonderful and extremely blessed 2024, the remainder of it.